Good day. This is Prophetess Wendy. Thank you so much for joining us for the first time. I'd like to welcome you. This is the true prophet of the Lord, guided by the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the word of God. I take it as it is. Hallelujah. If you hear anything new, just know that it's a revelation that comes from up above. Tonight, if you're joining us for the first time, I'd like to say that you are welcome. Hallelujah. It's a pleasure to have you watching me tonight. Hallelujah. It's always a pleasure. To my viewers, I also want to thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to spend time with you in the presence of God. You're watching me, me being excited excited about you having you watching me every now and then so it's always a pleasure tonight we are discussing one of the most important topic that affect us as women it says that you as a woman put your house in order put your house in order amen order goes with organizing hallelujah organize your house i can also put it like that but today i chose to say put your house in order with a scripture that i want us to go and look at it's a scripture that comes from the book of uh, second kings chapter 20 you know it says that there was a, a a man by the name of hezekiah the bible says the prophet says to him put your house in order because you are going to die but when i was reading that scripture i began to learn that it's not speaking about a house that i'm going to speak about today when i speak of a house i'm speaking of your own home where you stay as a woman it doesn't matter whether it's under the bridge it's under a shack it's a mansion it's what type of a house double story single story any type of shelter that you have i'm speaking about that space whether it's a room that you are renting whether it's a house that you bought cash i'm speaking about that particular home where you call uh, the place which you call home so tonight as i'm going to be speaking to you or today as i'll be speaking to you i wanted to speak to you and emphasize to say that god likes it when we put our house in order when he was speaking to hezekiah he was speaking about his life to say that organize your life because you are not going to live long you are going to die but today i chose not to speak about your life but to speak about the house which is affecting you as an individual when i say put your house in order you know as a mother pastor I've visited different type of houses even myself there were times when i was out of order in my house when i say that there's no order in the house it's when you come into a house the bible says where there is a woman the house is finished with beautiful things it says that houses are built by the wisdom of women sometimes you find that we get into a house you are there as a woman does not even don't even bother to decorate your house don't even bother to clean your house when i say that there must be order in the house things that are supposed to be in the bedroom must stay in the bedroom hallelujah things that are supposed to be in the kitchen we mustn't come to the kitchen we we'll find things that we're supposed to find in the bedroom hallelujah or you find that we find things that we're supposed to find in the toilet in the kitchen amen when there is no order in the house when there is no order that is when you find certain items that were not supposed to be there in the first place being there you find that you as a woman you come back from work you see that we've got a toilet paper on top of the coffee table but you don't even bother to remove it amen the things that you are doing as a mother you're also teaching your children on how to do things on how to live their own lives you find that after eating as a mother you don't take a plate to the sink amen or to a place where it belongs there are some of us who are from the village where you have to take it to a bucket but there must be order in the house amen when you have given your husband uh, uh, your food, you know, you must take up the plates and take them where they belong. The, the tray must not stay there. I mean, the following day where you left it, that is where you're going to find it. No, that is not order. That is not order at all. When we are speaking of order, we are speaking of you as a woman. You must see the plates are dirty. And when they are dirty, they need to be washed. Whose responsibility is it? It is you as a woman. Even if you can have children, even if you can have a helper a helper takes instruction from you when we're reading from the book of uh, proverbs 31 it says that that woman will wake up ill and tell the servant what to do sometimes you find that you don't even know what is supposed to be cooked for the day because you have got a helper hallelujah a helper is doing everything from the underwear is the helper is the one that is doing everything your underwear your husband's underwear the helper is the one doing it you know when the husband wakes up in the morning and say baby what am i wearing for today it's 
still want to ask the helper. There must be order, even in your bedroom. You must know what the man is supposed to wear. You are in charge as a woman. Even though you might be working hard, even though you must be earning, you could be earning more than your husband. You need to know what your husband is supposed to wear. Hallelujah. When he wakes up in the morning, what is it that your husband is going to wear? His clothes, are they iron? Because sometimes these helpers, they iron, but not proper. It is your responsibility as a woman to make sure that my husband's clothes is well and sometimes you'll find that like my husband he's got formal pants you find that the nanny does not even know how to iron it has got two lines instead of having one line you know you as a woman you're supposed to wake up early check is the clothes for tomorrow you know you prepare tomorrow you prepare uh, the in a day the a day in advance to see okay tomorrow i want my day to look like this okay for a week this is what you are going to be wearing this is what my husband is going to wear amen so what do i have to say to you you as a woman you need to um, be organized even in your bedroom you find that children when they come inside your room they can even see your your, your underwear with the panty liner sometimes with your menstruation it's not nice women of god don't just say there are women for me i've got girls i cannot say in tempo is also on her cycle so it doesn't matter if she finds that no i need to be organized i need to know okay when i change my pad where do i put it amen if i've got a baby where i'm changing diapers where do i take the diaper sometimes you find that you visit a person you find that a diaper i'm just speaking of pampas you find that you find Find it on top of a coffee table. A woman is busy talking. Welcome, Mama. You are welcome. After that, they put tea next to the to the to the pampas. The pampas is smelling. You can feel it. You are even sneezing if you are allergic, you know. And you're trying to be so polite and kind because they're affected. They have a problem. You want to solve this problem. So what do I have to say to you? Be organized as a woman. Whether there is anybody in the house, whether there's some people are only organized when they hear that a visitor is coming to their house. You need to to be organized at all times there are people who look nice even at work only to find that their bedding is not done that person wake up in the morning you find that the same water that they left in the morning they will find it when they come back from work you know so what am i saying to you make sure that you are organized as a woman the same way we see you find that it's me here speaking prophetess oh wow prophetess looks nice come check my bedroom Ooh, <laughs> is that your bedroom prophetess it needs some organizing hallelujah demons like <laughs> i'm not saying you're possessed but demons likes a place where it's not organized they like staying there hallelujah there are people who once slept with a snake why because their place is not nice their place is not organized when that a snake comes in the snake can be able to crawl and stay there with them at night the, the snake this is a true story a snake will just walk out and have fresh air and come back stay with them for so long under their bed you know they, they it could even play around they sometimes hide under the clothes that you leave under you know so what am i saying please i'm not trying to scare you learn to organize learn to be an organized woman god wants order god wants order you must know you know jesus was speaking to say in a house there are certain plates for visitors you must know this are plate for my husband this are this is this are the plate for the visitors you know you must know you find that today i'm just giving an example tempo is busy with her father's mug tomorrow i take it to the father's mouth no there must be order <laughs> <laughs> I know we're trying to change things. We all, our mother and our parents used to say, this is your father's plate, don't touch it. And for us, we are modern families. We want to change things, try to change everything. No, no, no. Let there be order. Let the kids know this class, <laughs> this is Papa's class. You know that even Bonti is, so this is one year old licking Papa's class. No, <laughs> there must be order. Like Jesus was saying, oh, you must have place for visitors plate for your men you know to know you know the pastors were once hated why because people say i remember this man who said a, a dog was eating eggs and somebody i quote from somebody saying are you a pastor that you are eating eggs why because that man saw eggs for the first time in his house because they were pastors learn also to treat your men with respect hallelujah even in the house organize your house let your men know i've got my own special plate the pastor i was told by example the time when i was not at the hospital he knows his plate <laughs> you know Temba sometimes does not pay attention Temba brought the food with another plate i don't know whether it was Temba's plate and then the pastor was like 
take it to the kitchen. This is not my place. And then Zebo came to me when I came back home. Hey, thank God you are back. Go oh, with Papa. He has so many rules. <laughs> to say this is not my place. This is not the house. Hey, she said, hey, Papa, I've got so many rules. Why? Because I taught him, oh, these are your plates, you know, the special one unique ones so what am i teaching you teach also your children that's why you end up finding a lot of plates in the sink teach them these are your plates i bought them tupperware plastic just for them even if you can't afford to buy them different type of uh, uh, dishes that they can use or plates or whatever but try and show them this is yours so that they know i own this plate and they take care of it you say love your plate take care of your plate except for the first plate i'll take care of it i'll wash it i'll do everything that i'm supposed to do so but for you this is your plate if i find it in the sink i know that you have neglected your place you also teach your children but that as a woman of god you after eating you don't even go wash your hands that you don't even go wash your hands you just stay in the kitchen <laughs> with dirty hands you can feel them but at night you want to go to the bedroom and touch somebody uh -uh. <laughs> you need to wash your hands after eating hallelujah and then you take your plate to the sink because you'll find that the whole family the whole family i remember this other day i was so tired i was exhausted and then i told her go put your plate she was like ah ma <laughs> your plate is also on top of the sofa i was like oh i didn't realize come also take this one <laughs> hallelujah there are days when we're tired we understand but it must not become a habit that every day when you come from work you leave your bag everywhere you find that your bag is everywhere you, you don't even know where to put your bag you must be organized find a place find a shelf find you know i was i once rented a room before moving into a house or to a proper place but i made that room my home you know make it look clean even if it's a shack make it organized make it look clean so that even when you come there we are able to drink the water sometimes you find that you want to offer us food as a prophetess i hungry i'm like <laughs> No, 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 I'm fine, woman of God, I'm fine, <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Why? Because you can see <laughs> the cup, even the, even the cup that they take when you try to drink water, you can smell some stuff from the cup. I'm telling you, you as a woman have the authority to organize your own home, to make it look the way you want it to look. When we come into your house, the first thing that comes to mind, the house represents you as a woman. It doesn't represent a man. When I come to your house and there are no plates i'm not gonna blame the man obviously i'm gonna blame you whether you're working or you're not working i'm gonna blame you as a woman to say you're supposed to have plates you are supposed to have one two three so what am i saying to you the prophetess is advising you as a woman love yourself organize your space organize your house even if you don't have enough rooms women of god even if you don't have a wardrobe i remember when i was staying in social Google, we didn't have a wardrobe and the holy spirit spoke to me you need to put your clothes in order and the holy spirit says there are shelves that you can buy to put up clothes there are plastic bags that you can buy big ones to put your clothes in order i did that why because i'm a very close friend i know people say ah, the holy spirit does not even care uh, trust me the holy spirit was the one that taught me you know what you don't have elect i remember the time when you didn't have electricity because you just moved into that particular place the holy spirit says to me you need to wake up early switch on the stove the paraffin stove for the husband early hours of the morning make sure he has warm water to bath in the morning so what am i saying we cannot blame the situation and the village and the place where we are we can make use of every opportunity a woman is able to make a a, a, a price precious thing out of trash you can make a precious thing you can make it to be a treasure why because as women we've got wisdom god says homes are built by the wisdom of women and i believe god you know the holy spirit spoke to me to say do this he has to tell me how to organize my house i painted my house i didn't have anybody to come paint the house for me because i could not pay them i was not working but i bought paint i googled on how to paint the house i begin to paint that house i remember somebody passing on the street to say this house used to look ugly this is a true story he was passing talking drunk this house used to to look ugly but ever since this woman and this man move into this house this house is the most beautiful house of this street no i never should be offended some of the rolling their eyes but da, i did my work there so what am i saying when you enter into a house when you enter into a space which you call home make it unique make it beautiful make it a good environment make it look nice you know 
organize the rooms, organize, teach your children on how things must be done. By the moment you are staying with the plates in the kitchen, kids think that's how things should be done. Even when you have a helper, you tell a helper what to do. The helper cannot decide on your behalf. We learned this from the book of Proverbs. That is woman told the helper what to do. What are we cooking for today? You tell the helper if the helper is helping you to cook to say beef for today. Tomorrow, what are we cooking? Rice for tomorrow. What are we eating? Veggies with what? You know, you tell them, you plan your week as a woman. I'm still going to talk about dishes. We'll plan dishes as well. I'm going to talk about that on the next video. Keep on watching. I thank you for watching. Be organized. You as a woman has the ability to make your home look like the heavens here on earth. So what am I saying to you? Make your home look beautiful. I love you. The prophetess love you so much. Be organized, woman of God. Be a woman of order, not only in public, but also in private. Thank you.